Hi there, and this is Hoo Ha Sports Today, your daily sports update and review show covering all that's happening in your world of football and beyond. Today, we will look forward to the Premier League weekend, plus I'll give my two cents worth of predictions as well. So let's look at what's in store for this weekend. Blackburn owners have pleaded with their fans to back manager Steve Keane and rescind a planned protest to request his sacking. But I think it's Arsenal's manager who will be under pressure as the Gunners travel to Ewood Park after returning from the Champions League in Germany with a draw. Saturday's main pick to watch for me will be the Villa who host Newcastle. Can Alan Pardew's boys get another positive result on the road? Maybe they just will. But all focus will be on Sunday. Spurs, who played in the Europa League, will need to get past the infamous European hangover as they welcome the troubled Reds to White Hart Lane. Question is, will the referee fear Kenny Daglish's rant or will they teach him a lesson on who's the boss during the 90 minutes? Meantime, besides Blackburn's manager coming under fan pressure, will Fulham's Martin Yule survive another week? It'll be tough because you can expect Man City to run riot at Craven Cottage. And the big one this weekend poses the question to Chelsea. Can they stop United's unbelievable start to the 2011-2012 campaign? Or are United going to trample all over the Blues? I believe Andre Villas-Boas will have have a clipboard full of options and that's for sure. But we often see him with a traditional paper clipboard. Maybe it's time Vilash Boash steps into the 21st century. So I can look at team statistics for the entire team, I can look by player, or I can look and say, give me my top players for all the different statistics. So a goal or, or a shot on goal, shot on goal missed, uh, assist, etc, etc. One last thing on formations, uh, as I mentioned, if you, you can use the formations that are supplied with Coachit, you can also uh, create your own formations here just by dragging like this. And you can click on a field there, right forward, for example. Click done, move that in a position. Uh, you can turn the grid on or off. Uh, having the grid on, grid on makes it very nice because you can create nice even positions. Cool stuff, yeah? Nope, we didn't get paid to feature that. But moving on, it's time for me to step into the hot zone and put my predictions down for this weekend. It won't be easy for Arsenal as Blackburn's boss will be fighting for his job and they weren't that bad against Fulham last week. So I say it's a draw. Villa, I believe, will just nick it over Newcastle and the refreshed Rangers will improve and get all three points while West Brom will get the better of Swansea. City will win big while Stoke uh, it won't, won't be able to capitalise on their win over Liverpool because it's hard to face Sunderland when they are at home. While Chelsea, I think, will have more experienced players going into Old Trafford as this will be the first litmus test of the season for Ferguson's young blood. And uh, what do you want me to say about Spurs and Liverpool? Would any Spurs fan predict anything but a win? Well, to be honest, Spurs do not perform well after a European trip. But hey, at least we are in Europe. Mickey Mouse trophy or not. And that's a wrap for this week. On Monday, we will review the results plus see how well I did on my predictions this time. I'm Patrick on behalf of the team saying thanks for logging on and have yourself a great sporting weekend ahead. Bye for now.